I've decided to share something with you young guys. If you'll look in here, if you look at the bottom there, it's a piece of plywood sitting on a six foot long pallet. A, six, a four foot by six foot piece of scrap pallet is sitting on top of it. Sitting on the side is another six foot pallet. See it there? Six foot long. In the back is a four foot wide pallet. Here in the back. And here on the side is another six foot pallet. And here is two three foot pallets making the A. You see that? Two three foot pallets. Each three foot pallet put together six foot. Making the A. They're scrap ply plywood I made with the A at the top. Then I fashioned the door. I cut out between the pallet. As you can see here, I cut out of the pallet. See how I sawed the pallet there? And I made a little door about two foot wide. I made a little door frame. It's a little over six foot. See, I'm standing in it. It's six foot, probably three inches. All right, I put the little frame in the center and I built a little plywood door. See that plywood door? Just a piece of plywood with hinges on it. But I made it look like a door on the outside. See, I put some little slabs of wood on it. See there? Then I put a lock on it. And I got this scrap tin. The scrap tin, old people that said their houses re-roofed and stuff have a lot of old scrap tin laying around. And uh, they might give it to you. But I was having to live in town for a while. See here? I put that wood A on the back and then I put scrap pieces of tin and cut it out with tin snips, four foot wide. I had two four foot wide pieces of tin on each side here. I had, uh, look, look how I uh, covered the top there. I had a four foot piece of wide tin here and probably a 12 inch right here. Four, five, six, you know, about four foot up there. You always see me out here making videos but I was under the gun, and I needed a trapping shed because I was living in town, and I needed something that would slide up in the back of the truck. I asked my landlord if I fixed a little shed uh, that I could slide up in the truck when I le le left the apartment I was in, if it was okay if I could build it. And he said, yes. You know how people are in town. They're touchy-feely about trappers. They just don't like us until it's time that they're all their drains and everything, and or stopped up, or the coons are eating their baby kittens and killing them, and coyotes and foxes eating up everything. Then we're the kings again, just for a day or two. Once we get rid of them, then we're no, we're no use to them no more. But this is for the young guy that wants to build his, uh, if you live in town and you got all them touchy-feely people that don't like seeing animal skin, this will get you through until you can get back out in the country. See here, I cut this out and put these little cross members at the top. So my head wouldn't bump, and you tie your pair of uh, leg skinners up there, and hook the coon in there, and skin him out. And you also store your traps and hang your traps on the sides and stuff. Anyway, I didn't want to make this video too long. Wild man out, baby. Build your own little trapping shed. It fit in the back of the truck. That's how I hauled it out here. I'm back out in the country. Oh, I love living out back in the woods. I was gone for about a year. I can't stand living in town. Town kills me. I don't see how people do it. Anyway, wild man out. You young uh, trappers, build your little trap shed so your hands don't freeze off or anything. You can run your little old plug-in out here. Have your little electric heater in there, too. Wild man's tip. Wild man out, and you put your little light in there if you plug it in, too. Wild man out. Never give up, baby. Can survive.